what we are yet to see, uh, uh, which the minister was speaking to recently, is how will a petrol attendant, a domestic worker, a packer at a spa or pick and pay, uh, get granted a, 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 a general working visa. Uh, we will have to see that because the minister was saying people should apply for waivers. Uh, they have been uh, misdirected or misinformed uh, by lawyers uh, because there is a court case uh, which will come up in, in April. So, yeah, that's, that's the issue that uh, all of us are looking forward to. Okay, speaking now about the, the minister, what do you make of the most recent comments by the minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Montalet, on the EP applications? What, what he had said is open floodgates for people of low skill to apply for waivers. We have always understood that uh, you apply for a waiver uh, 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 when you realize that there is a requirement that might hinder you from getting a permit or a visa that uh, you think you qualify under. And uh, you ask the government to the waiver that requirement or to remove uh, that requirement. That's our understanding of a, of a waiver. Uh, 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 but as, as we are saying, we do not know how a petrol attendant uh, uh, will end up getting a general working visa uh, uh, because the argument even in which has been advanced by the Department of Labor and Employment through uh, the policy on uh, uh, migration and labor is that uh, there are jobs that are being done by South Africans. And uh, with the unemployment, <coughs> these jobs should be closed off to migrants. Uh, the president, in his state of the national address, President Cyril Ramaphosa, spoke of uh, uh, people that will contribute to the economy of South Africa through bringing in or by bringing in scarce schemes which are not directly available in the South African economy. But unless, of course, uh, they are making a special arrangement for ZEP holders on the basis that uh, they have been part of the South African economy to an extent that then a domestic worker uh, or who is a holder of ZEP will qualify for a general working visa, but that will not mean a, a domestic worker who is not documented will qualify. So these are the things that uh, we are looking forward to. Okay, before we wrap up, I've got uh, another two questions for you. What do you think will be the impact of the impending court cases on the ZEP cancellation? Well, 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 first we do not know what the court is going to decide. So if everyone is waiting uh, for the court case, mid-April, the African Diaspora Forum and the Zimbabwe community in South Africa, they are not part of the court case, but the people that we represent have a serious interest uh, in what the court will say. So we are also looking forward to uh, the outcome or the judgment. Um, then we will then act based on what the court will have decided. Yeah. Well, my last question is it's not like it's not a question. Any general comments from you? Well, well, well uh, we encourage ZTP holders uh, to apply for waivers based on what the minister said. Uh, people keep on asking us about the link. Uh, uh, where's the link to apply for a waiver? Send us a link. We always direct them to the website of the VFS uh, because if you simple Google, it's not complicated. Simple approach Mr. Google and say, give me a website for vfs they will give you just the google vfs website it will come up you open the form will be there and then it will direct you on what to do then you submit your your application but if of course you 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 have difficulties you are not computer uh, competent like some of us you can ask someone to assist you whether you pay them 50 rand whether you pay them one rand depending on what you are agreeing but make sure that any application that is done is completed online. You then uh, get given the bank account where you will deposit the money. You get an appointment. You physically submit your documents at VFS. There is no agent that uh, should submit your documents. You submit in person at, VF at VFS. The person should only assist you 
to do the online application because you either you are using an old phone like me, my Doreen Doreen, and you can't access the website using your phone or you're having difficulties, then you can ask someone to assist you. Once everything is done, you go to VFS and submit.